and welcome to today's video. This week I've taken a little trip to MAC. Um, this is like their little limited edition packaging. Um, I'm not sure what the collection is even called. I bought four lipsticks there and I ordered three online. So I thought I would share with you the seven lipsticks that I have bought and also swatch them. I swatched them before I got filming and my lips are so sore. Like seven lipsticks later, removal, reapplying. Then I've got to take pictures of one of them so I have to reapply that one and my lips hurt. But I thought I would share with you my first opinions, what shades I bought and also the swatches. Three of them, as I said, were ordered online and they came off Fragrance Direct and I personally love MAC lipsticks. They're my absolute fave. I have close to 30, which is quite a lot, I know that. There's just something about them. I think they're good quality. They're fairly affordable. They're £15.50, which compared to Tom Ford, which I don't know, I think might be over £30, I'm not sure. Or even something like Chanel, which I think is like £22, or YSL, which I think is about that price as well. I think £15.50 is really affordable. The three that I got were actually on Fragrance Direct. And on Fragrance Direct they're a little bit cheaper, so I'll leave links below. They don't carry the whole range, but when they do carry a shade that you'd like, um, I think it's definitely worth buying them off there. Or if you're kind of like trying to build up your collection, you've got a long list of items that you want. There was three shades on there that were on my list, and they've been on my list for ages. So I thought I'd better order those ones because they are really, really lovely colours. Just really happy to have them in my collection. In Debenhams yesterday, I was also after MAC Rebel and MAC Diva. I've got Diva but I lost it which is really 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 annoying but I don't have Rebel but sadly both were out of stock so I couldn't get those two and I kind of feel like those two for the autumn and winter at least are the last two on my list. I'm hoping I still find Diva but if I don't I'll probably repurchase it and hopefully I will get um, Rebel maybe within the next couple of weeks um, hopefully they'll finally get it in but without further ado let's get started with the seven that I bought so I might as well start with the limited edition packaging one I actually didn't realize that limited edition packaging you pay more for which is a little bit annoying I think I probably would have still bought it but I would have liked to have known that before I picked to get it limited edition because this is a permanent colour. It was just in one of their collections so I thought the purple packaging um, was a little bit different. So I don't think I've got any other limited edition lipsticks from MAC. And this is in the shade Dark Side. So Dark Side is an amplified and it's the only amplified that I bought. It's quite like a deep plum, vampy, burgundy kind of shade. Really perfect for the autumn time. But unlike something like Diva, which is matte, this amplified makes it quite easy to wear and not too, like, in your face and too harsh almost. But it's definitely still quite a dark colour. I found that because these aren't matte, they almost apply a little bit patchy. But what I like to do is I wait a minute or so and then reapply over that and I think it's fine. But it's quite a nice one. You could probably blot this one on your lips for a really, really light burgundy look. Or you could really amp it up with a lip liner to match underneath. And you'd have like a super dark lip. And the packaging is beautiful. I'm definitely going to try and get some more lipsticks in the limited edition packaging. Two more dark shades to go. And the first one I'm going to talk about is Cyber. Which looks like this and is super dark in the bullet. I've seen this one for a while and I was kind of ooing and ahhing. And it's definitely not a shade that I will wear too regularly but I think it's quite a nice shade when you really want to make a statement. It's almost black in the bullet and even on the lip it's a very very dark lipstick but I've seen a few editorial photos with this on and that it can look absolutely stunning. I think particularly if you've got quite tan skin or quite pale skin this can look beautiful. So I think I will personally put on quite a lot of fake tan whenever I wear this but it's actually like a a dark plummy purple which is very almost black and again this is a satin so not matte so it doesn't really look quite as harsh as I mentioned I think you do kind of need a little bit more time to apply this but using a lip liner or something like that would really really help this application although I think waiting a minute and applying another layer really really helps as well next is Film Noir and I wasn't really sure about this because this is pretty brown as the name kind of suggests it's quite like a glamorous dark shade but it's quite warm still which I think makes it a little bit more wearable again it's a satin so not overly harsh, still quite a wearable dark and again I've seen this in editorials and this has looked beautiful I'll probably try and link some of those images below but 
honestly, this lipstick can look beautiful. And I think it might be um, Rihanna that wears this colour a lot. She either wears this or Cyber, and it looks beautiful on her as well. So that's why I was tempted. I mean, I'm not Rihanna's colouring at all, nor do I look like Rihanna, sadly. This could be a really, really pretty colour, and I am looking forward to wearing this. Again, probably with me, a lot of fake tan is required. But if you're quite happy to go for a very vampy look, then even if you are a little bit fairer, this would be beautiful. Then I picked up a red, and it's called Mac Red, and it isn't actually a red which I think you um, hear a lot of people talking about. But I do have the three MAC Reds which are a little bit better known and I'm just going to show you them compared to MAC Red in case you're interested. The one which is probably the least similar in my opinion is Russian Red. On camera it looks like a bright orange and it is quite an orangey red. Completely, completely different to MAC Red. Then there's Russian Red which looks like this and is a lot darker, quite an autumny red in my opinion. And then the one that's probably the most popular is Ruby Woo which looks like this and it is quite a true red. It is a retro matte whereas MAC Red is a satin so on the lip they do look very different. MAC Red is a quite a blue toned red, really really bright and just like a really true red in my opinion. Um, it isn't necessarily like the most modern red, I think Ruby Woo is a much more modern red. Actually all three of the other reds I've mentioned are a little bit more modern as they are all matte and I think satin finishes, especially in a bright shade like red, almost look a little bit more dated but I still think this is a really 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 beautiful colour particularly a Christmassy colour in my opinion. I think it's kind of got that sheen to it that kind of gives it a bit more like glamour and a bit more glitz. Um, so definitely one that's worth looking at if you're looking for a red or if you're looking for a MAC red and you don't want it to be matte then this is perfect because I think everyone's always told to go for one of those three other shades. On to three slightly more nude shades. I'll start with the least nude of the three and that's Amorous which looks like this. And this is a brownie plummy shade. In my opinion, definitely an autumnal shade. It's a satin, again, I love satin finishes, especially in like daytime colors. And I personally think that this is a really, really beautiful daytime vampy shade. You could obviously wear this in the evening, but if you like the vampy look, think that something like, I agree, something like Cyber or um, Film Noir or Diva, is just too much for the day, which I personally think it is too much, then Amorous is absolutely perfect. It can be applied really sheerly, or you can apply a few layers, or you could wear this in the evening over a lip liner. Obviously, you can wear it by itself as well, and I still think it would look beautiful, but I just think it's slightly more versatile than a lot of the darker shades. And surprisingly, really like this one. Um, particularly in pictures, I actually think it's quite a pretty vampy shade, and I don't think you get a lot of pretty vampy shades. Two more. These are well loved. I think particularly one of them, which is virtually impossible to get. I went in and I was 100% sure I wasn't going to get this. I asked the MAC lady, because she didn't have a lot of the ones I did want, what she'd recommend. And she said this. And I was like, no, I don't want it. Not for me. Um, too much hype surrounding it. And she was like, oh, just look at it. So I did. And... Here it is, so clearly I bought it, I thought it was really nice. And if you haven't guessed, it's Velvet Teddy. Everyone's been talking about Velvet Teddy because of Kylie Jenner. And it's definitely a nudie, my lips but better shade. Not too pink or anything like that. Just a really nice matte, my lips but better shade. Obviously, it's the Kylie Jenner lip effect, so it's supposed to make your lips look a little bit fuller. Um, particularly if you use a good lip liner around your lips, I think this can definitely make your lips look fuller. But Actually, I think this is one that I will be wearing completely matte sometimes or under a gloss. I think these just look really, really, truly beautiful um, with a gloss just in the middle because I think that makes your lip look even fuller and I just really like that look. And surprisingly, um, I think I might get a lot of use out of this. And finally, this is Faux. It's not overly dissimilar to Velvet Teddy. It's kind of like the same kind of tone as in um like not too pale but not too dark either however faux is significantly pinker it's also a satin finish so in my opinion a little bit wear more wearable it's what i've got on now and actually i thought i was going to fall head over heels in love with this lipstick but it might be slightly too pinky movie for me still really really nice and i'll still definitely get a lot of use out of it i think it just proves that you don't know what color you're gonna love until you see it on you i actually do think i prefer velvet teddy to this on my lips although traditionally this would be a colour that I really, really like. But still really nice. Once again, I love satins for every day. So I'm sure this will end up in my handbag. And I will get lots and lots of use out of this. And that's the end of my haul. Let me know if you'd like me to talk you through my top five. 
autumn MAC lipsticks. I know they're on for the summer and that seemed to be quite popular so let me know if you'd like to see the same thing for autumn and winter and I would definitely do that. I shall be back very soon with another video. Let me know if you've got any um, requests below. Swatches will be on my blog. Like this video if you enjoyed it and I will see you all very soon. Bye!